It's Oscar season. For hardcore cinephiles, it's that time of the year when award-worthy films dominate the film circuit. We used to think we knew an Oscar-worthy film when we saw one. You could always place your best picture bet on a classy spectacle or a story that tackled a significant social issue of the day. When in doubt, you'd go with an extravagant crowd pleaser, though only in rare instances would you put your money on a comedy. A heist movie? Forget it. Today on my channel, Salia Cinema, I'm going to review a movie that's racked up not one, not two, but eight Oscar nominations. What's surprising, however, is that for a leading Oscar contender, this film is a remake. What's even more surprising is that it's not the first, not the second, not the third, but the fourth iteration of the original 1937 movie. But as a character in the movie once says that music is all about how there are just 12 notes to an octave. It's the same story told over and over again. All any artist can offer is how he views those 12 notes. Perhaps it is the way that Hollywood star Bradley Cooper views those 12 notes that makes A Star Is Born such an enchantingly beautiful experience. A Star Is Born begins with Jackson Maine, played by Bradley Cooper, a country music star who is on the brink of decline when he discovers a talented unknown named Ali, played by Lady Gaga. As the two begin a passionate love affair, Jack coaxes Ali into the spotlight, catapulting her to stardom. But as Ali's career quickly eclipses his own, Jack finds it increasingly hard to handle his fading glory. It's a familiar template that doesn't promise anything new, but right from the very first frame, it casts a spell on you. And that's because it invites the audience to feel like we're not just watching scenes, but actually hanging out in them, along with the characters, sharing their space and emotion. Whether it is the male lead crooning away to thick guitar riffs at the start, an uplifting duet between the two leads that eventually blossoms into romance, the rising trajectory of one star followed by the fall of another, or the tear-inducing vocals of the female lead in the emotional climax. A Star Is Born is driven by cinematic magic, the sort of which that was last seen in 2016's La La Land. To say that director Bradley Cooper does a good job at creating this cinematic magic would be an understatement. As a filmmaker, Bradley Cooper stages scenes that take their time and play out with a kind of shaggy intimacy that's shown of the usual beats. It is this intimacy that gets you to believe in the complicated rapture of the story it tells. What's admirable about Cooper's direction, however, is that he does not allow his pursuit for self-expression to come in the way of sharing screen time with his other actors, especially Lady Gaga, thereby allowing their characters to flourish. What's all the more admirable, however, is how the two lead actors split in and out of their comfort zones here. With three Academy Award nominations for Best Actor already under Bradley Cooper's belt, playing an aging rock star on the wane, who's battling with alcoholism may seem like the kind of role that is expected to be pulled off by an actor of his caliber. So while the actor successfully channels his hard-drinking, rock-and-roller character, who is still clutching at the last straws of stardom, even though he has lost the artistic lust for what he's doing, he also steps out of his comfort zone here by actually playing a fierce electric guitar and growling vocals into a microphone himself. Likewise, to play a character whose story arc involves evolving into a leading vocalist star may have been a piece of cake for someone like Lady Gaga, who has already made a name for herself as one of the world's biggest pop stars. But to also remain equally committed to the acting bits of her character surely deserves a round of appreciation. Her character Ali is a plain and simple girl with her own set of vulnerabilities that smiles away from her glittery and outrageous onstage persona. The film gives Lady Gaga plenty of moments to emerge as a credible actor, even in scenes when she's nowhere close to a mic. As operatic as the journey of the two leads may be, it is Sam Elliott's performance as Jack's older brother and manager that leaves a lasting impact and grounds the film with whimsical wisdom. But what really separates Bradley's A Star Is Born from previous renditions is that it is that rare romantic saga that has the audacity to challenge the status quo on both sides of the male-female equation. No, this is not the kind of film that talks about the oppression or abuse of women. Rather, it's a film that talks about a landscape that women have been working so hard to overthrow. The same landscape in which men think that they rule and that that's the natural order of things and that it's never going to change and that if it did change, that would strike them as the most threatening thing they could imagine because it would do more than just take away their power. It would take away their identity as natural born kings. It is this loss of identity that Jack has to constantly grapple with apart from the fact that he is a drunken lush. What's even more threatening to Jack about Ali's ascent into the star machinery of corporately marketed and synchronized dance pop is that it represents the death of the place that Jack comes from, the arena of authentic rock, which was traditionally always a male bastion. 
The movie is essentially an elegy for the whole psychology of the male dominion. It's a kind of conflict that's similar to the traditionalist jazz making way for the newer contemporary hip hop jazz that was explored in La La Land. Of course, this is finally a story about two people who love each other through all the fights and drinkings and public shamblings. Ali, despite everything that Jack puts her through, stands by her man and firmly believes that there is space for men and women in the new world. But the place where Jack comes from is a hierarchy that is propped up by a sense of boozy entitlement as well as a firm belief in the older traditional ways. On some level, Jack cannot live a life without either of those things. A Star is Born is a great love story, but it is also a great story of a fall. The world's fall from the garden of male reign as well as the fall of an artist who fears that his art may no longer be relevant. I'm going with 4 out of 5 for A Star is Born.